It's a different rescue mission for this group of 25 National Guardsmen. They arrived at the Alamance Regional Hospital in Burlington early Thursday morning, ready to use their training skills to help out strain hospital systems, but not before checking in. Obviously, we want you to have the tools and rigorous training. We're very uh, adaptable in what we do. That every guardsman and airman have civilian occupations that they they bring to the table, as well as their military, um, are constantly evolving and adapting. Um, and this is just a new opportunity for us to to get in and actually help out. Since the start of the pandemic, the National Guard has helped in many ways, including distributing food and helping run COVID-19 testing sites. But this is the first time they will see firsthand what hospital staff across the country are dealing with. Um, up until now, we haven't been able to be inside of the hospitals. They've been mostly at COVID testing sites. Um, yesterday when we spoke to all the soldiers here for the first time, they were just overwhelmed with excitement for the opportunity to put their training to use. In their roles, they will help with EKG procedures. No, you hit confirm user. Data entry. That can still be the right one. Checking vital signs, COVID-19 testing, patient check-ins, and meal delivery. Hospital leaders say this will help take some strain off of caregivers who have worked around the clock because of staffing shortages. Caregivers have a lot on their plates uh, and the things that they don't necessarily need to do that they can use their skills and assets to the highest and best use is what we want them to do. Mark Gordon, president of Alamance Regional Hospital, says it's a relief to see the men and women in uniform. These individuals have left their employment They've left their jobs, they've left their families, so they're doing what our caregivers have had to do, but they're also demonstrating that they're in the, in the same boat with us.